It's it's like I tell you what, it's I I wouldn't have it any other way. It's it is, you know, when you kind of grow up in New Orleans, man, it's like you know, it's you, you love hard. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You you party hard, you play hard. Everybody, you basically, it's it's like family. You know, everybody's basically un, until you cross somebody, and then when you mm-hmm. cross somebody, it takes us about two or three weeks to get over it. You yeah. know, um, but um, you know, and and and. The, the respect that people have in, in New Orleans, you you better tell somebody good morning when you walk past them. Okay. If you don't, if you yeah. don't it's, that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, you have to greet people. And, and there's a lot of pride. There's a lot of pride in the city. Um, and, and and it just exudes. And, and then, you know, we, like I said, love hard. Like I said, what my man Eli Apple is getting the business now because yeah. he picked on the wrong city. And yeah. all of us are giving it to him. And yeah. we have no mercy. You know when you mess with us, <laughs> nah, nah, that, that, hey, I, I, I can feel that. I can feel that. Yeah. Well, let, let me ask you this, Coach. Yeah. What's 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 some of your favorite food, man? I know y'all. I know y'all. Y'all world famous oh, for y'all cuisine, man. man. What, dude, what, what, it's, you, it's what like, you eating up, man? Man, it's like I, I love the dog on charbroil oysters. Okay, charbroil oysters. Yes. I like, fried. I like fried oysters. I, I like them fried too. I like a fry too, but man, if you get go to got a couple of spots, you charbroil those things with with the garlic, with the butter, with the, the lemon and all that on uh-huh. there. Oh man, yeah, that's, that's good. Eating. Yes, that's good <laughs> eating right there, man. That's good eating. A dozen, listen, a dozen ain't enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then you know everything else. Like I like the, I like the oyster poor boys, but my favorite poor boy would be a, a what we call half and half a shrimp and catfish poor boy. Oh, that sounds good. I heard, yeah. and I heard, I heard the special thing with po boys down there is the bread. It's the, the bread. bread. It's right. the bread. So that's true. If your bread ain't right, man, because we can fry. Everybody can cook down here. Mm-hmm. But if your bread right, if you got that 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 bread that's kind of light, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's a little crispy and all that. And when you kind of squeeze that thing, you kind of squeeze a little bit. Yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a different world. You know what I'm saying? So, man, you making me hungry. So what do and we <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't even know him talking about food, but you know it's just we just vibing. What right. like what's the normal? This is gonna sound funny, coach, but like how do y'all eat day to day? Is it like everybody else do y'all day to day? No, we food? have we we have our selected days, man. On Mondays okay. it's red beans and rice, man. Everybody knows on Mondays you are gonna get some red beans and rice. Even the school cafeteria cooks red beans and rice on Mondays. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm I, I heard I heard that story before. I didn't know it was still like that though. It's, man, that's yeah, fascinating. It's still like that. It's still like that. You know. And then after that, you know what I'm saying? It's it's just it becomes a free for all, man. So. You're gonna throw in some 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 catfish, some fried catfish up in there. You know, you're gonna you probably gonna, you know, like right now, you know, everybody's got some gumbo in the freezer and just, okay. just come out, heat that thing up and, and eat some gumbo and um, you know, some crawfish etouffee and some shrimp fettuccine and all that. Like hey. Yeah, our stock of shrimp is high, brother. So we gotta keep shrimp on reserve, you know what I'm saying? Cause um Matter of fact, that's what I cook for Valentine's Day for the wife. You know what I'm saying? I cook the shrimp Alfredo and all that because you got to have some skills, you know? You look but, like um, you cook too, Coach. You look like oh, you cook, man. man. Yeah. <laughs> from scratch. From scratch. I, I throw down from scratch. It's like a coach. I cut all my ingredients, my man. But um, but no, so so eating here and cooking is not like just something to hurry up and do. Okay. You know, you kind of... It's a process and you know, you gotta enjoy the process and then you at the end, you know, if you can still taste it a couple of hours later, you know what I'm saying? When you kinda of belch and stuff like mm-hmm. that, you guys that's a good meal. You know, you know. Hey. <laughs> Man, that, that, that's a blessing. I love that little historical little nugget. So right. when did when what was your first introduction into football? Let, let's talk a little bit about that. Like when did you get yeah. introduced into ball? So when I, I you know, like I said, growing up in the hood, I um I saw the friends, my friends that I was going to school with, they were they were talking about football like I was in the fifth and sixth grade they were talking about playing football and you know our team was the Berman Green Machine that's a little neighborhood team that we had and all that but I was so big that I couldn't make the weight okay. so it was it was like there was had the the, the, the 110 pound team and the, back then it was all by weight yeah you know, 100 with the 110 and the 120 and so therefore I know I couldn't make the 120 team so many had me running around with bags on and all that, <laughs> so I was big, and so I couldn't. So the coaches were like, "Listen, man, don't worry about it. When you get to junior high, there's no weight limit in junior high." So when I went to Car, everybody knows Car, but Car was just ex- exclusively a junior high, seventh through ninth. 
Now, was so, this the uh, 80s coach or, the, or, or 70s? This was, in, uh, this was uh, 80s. This was 87, um, uh, 87, 88, 89 were my junior high years. Okay. Um, so in late 80s. Um, so, yeah, I went there. And uh, like I said, being Dominican, my parents didn't want me to play football. So I had to sneak. I snuck to play football. So I would tell my parents that I had to stay after school for tutoring and stuff like that. And, you know, I, I did like. When I was I was managing the checkbooks and the finances at my house at 12 years old. Oh wow! So I wrote the checks. I paid all the bills. I did all the stuff. So I signed all the parental permission slips for me to pay. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, right there. Dang. So I did all the paperwork, and my parents didn't know until um, I think I got banged up a little bit, and I had to tell my mom that I had banged up, and I had to sit down and say, "Mom, like I love this. Like I really love this." The coaches told me that this is the only sport I could do where I could legally beat somebody up and not go to jail. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then they, then they became they became cool with it. You know, they, they they became cool with it, and they were very very supportive of it. And um, but like I said, I had great upbringing with my junior high coaches, and we won. A lot